Hey, are you ready to talk uh, Defense Soap Duels 2020? Woo! What an event. Some hammers all around. That's what I've seen. Oh, right? yeah. And, you know, when we look at it, so Compound Green wins at Compound Savage Squad Green Purple Sartreuse. <laughs> it, it, it basically... The, the Bassett brothers were on that team and they got the job done. And it was a similar team, but not the same team as national middle school duels. And uh, I mean, yeah, one way or another, it was, it was, uh, I was impressed. I'm just saying it was, it was, uh, they are, they are good. They are good. The Bassett brothers can absolutely positively roll. Other kids that were super impressive was uh, Seth Mendoza. Have you seen Seth Mendoza no, wrestle no. yet? Fill me in, man. Oh my goodness. Well, I saw him at uh National Middle School Duels and 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 he, he's incredible. See, I got the uh got the uh there it is. Oh, there it is. Nice. You know, the just program? looking up and down the lineups, man. There are just so many really good teams at the uh defense sub duels, and, and guy obviously did a great job. Compound Savage Squad Green was actually the literal name of it. I mean, there's a dude named Cato Lee. This guy's incredible. Melvin Miller. So quick shout out. Dave Riggs' grandsons were both undefeated on the weekend. I see uh, Mason and Lincoln Roar. And How big are their backs? Their backs. <laughs> freaks, dude. I, to- I freaks. told Coach Riggs, like, those are like billboards. They got billboards on their back. Yeah, they're unbelievable. Like, uh, genetically speaking, <laughs> They're unbelievable. I'm like watching these two. I wonder I how many think, pull-ups they can do. Oh, yeah. I think uh, one of them was 70 pounds and the other one was 90. And I know that uh, Mason Roar knocked off Melvin Miller, Melvin Miller's cousins with uh, the Bassett brothers. Okay. So it was just like, Did Miller yeah, win man. Super 32? You, say it Is again. It, did Miller win Super 32? Melvin Miller did win the Super 32. Yes, at 90 pounds. So Melvin Miller's, yeah, he's for real. Mm-hmm. Roar knocked him off. So I'd have to go with if you're, you know, we we're talking about in-state, out-of-state performance, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you and right. I talked about that, and and obviously what the minions from Georgia are doing with Coach Russell and Coach Roundtree, it was a uh, minions Roundtree, um, minions and Roundtree mixed their teams together and made a really good team, and you know their top top three team at the national middle school duels. And then Quest with Coach Akerley and then um, two-time Pitt All-American, Tyler Nauman, they have a squad. But if you're talking about, like, guys who just – you got to talk about the Roar Brothers. The Roar Brothers, they they are incredible. And we don't know where they're going to go. Dave was the coach, the longtime coach at Maslin Perry. You know, what they had five state champs in 2014, I want to say. And, and what Dave did at Maslin Perry was nothing short of amazing. Right, right. Built just a just a championship culture. You know, had multiple NCAA champions that he coached. Steve Luke. Right. <laughs> and, you know, Dustin Schlater. And it's an incredible. Now his grandsons, you know, Mason Rohr has probably the biggest upset, the biggest. I don't know if it's really an upset, but I think it's the biggest win of the tournament. Okay. And then, once again, not a revelation. Bo Bassett's incredible. Totally incredible. But who I was more impressed with as far as uh, the, the Roar Brothers are, are physical specimens. They're freaks. But this kid named Aaron Stewart, Super 32 champ okay. on the Compound Savage uh, Squad Green. <laughs> Aaron Stewart reminded me of like I saw flashes of him and he was doing things. He was doing college guy things. It was incredible. And watching him was like flashes of like uh, like a mix between – Danyasha Yetz and Kevin Randleman. Like, really? he is in, yes, he's every oh, bit geez. of that. And, and, it, and it's not like, uh, Zeb, you're out of line here. He is that. Um, probably the match of the week for me was this uh, uh, Seth Mendoza got pushed really hard against the uh, uh, Roundtree team. Okay. Against uh, Roundtree, uh, what, what's the name? Uh, Roundtree Minions. Mm-hmm. Right, him and this kid, um, Jake Hockaday, had an absolute war. Hockaday lat dropped him for five, and it was just yeah, it was amazing. And the wrestling there is like I said, is that on your page? Unmatched, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Him and yeah. Hockaday, yeah, barn burner match, great match. Uh, YouTube, go yeah, YouTube, YouTube. Go- Hockaday, go yeah, it, it was, um, 
it was incredible to watch. And I got, I'm looking to throw all these papers, man. I know that uh, I think Jackson Holt was undefeated for Warner Elite. I mean, you had the the Roar brothers were undefeated. Um, the heavyweight for Quest, Kaler from uh, he's from Morgantown, West Virginia. The Kaler kids impressive. He's number two in, uh, heavyweight in the country. And then you know, up and down the West Shore lineup, looking at them, obviously Mason Roar and uh, Lincoln Roar. Lincoln Roar was seventy pounds. Mason Rowe was 90 pounds. They were really impressive this weekend for, for West Shore and Guy. Uh, Burnett Trained was there. Palmer was there. Uh, Shulaw has a younger brother for Palmer that was pretty impressive that I saw. Um, 155-pounder, Max Shulaw's younger brother. He looked right. pretty good. But the Savage squad, the compound Savage squad, green was just like – and you look at it, I mean, I'm looking at it right now, man. They have like six Super 32 champions on the team. Jeez. I mean, if I'm just counting it, like as I'm like just kind of leafing through things, you know, checking through it, and it's just, you know, Team Minion had a team. Oh, uh, Brock Kaler. Brock Kaler. But it's K-E-H-L-E-R. It could be Keller, but I'd said Kaler. But uh, Brock Keller, I I actually interviewed him. He's from West Virginia, the number two ranked heavyweight. He's a heavyweight? In the country. Okay. Yeah, but he's like – like a 190 something, you know, but right. wrestled 220. He was pretty impressed with all the stuff I saw with him. Uh Dom Bambinelli for the uh <clears throat> the minions. Roundtree was undefeated. So there was just up and down, obviously Bo Bassett. Yeah, you know, there was Seth just... Mendoza. I mean, they're the dude just just wow. 